when we talked before, we talked about the posies and how they are a high flower count, lower labor uh, product. And then today we're gonna be talking about higher labor, lower product. So essentially what you get when you order an arrangement from us is you get the flowers, but you get it designed by a designer and in a vase. So you obviously are paying more for that. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our cute little arrangement, which is a $60 arrangement. It essentially gets everything that's in a single posy, but designed in a vase. Whenever we get to the big boy arrangement, which is more expensive, you get a little bit more customization. But with this, you just like the posies, you don't get any customization, except you can pick between a white milk glass vase or a clear vase. That's it. So let's get started. So next we're gonna start with our big boy arrangement. And this is my larger arrangement. And again, like I said before, you get a little bit more customization with this. Um, essentially, people can choose between a colorful arrangement or a neutral arrangement. And then these vases um, are actually not what I normally use, but I ran out of my Benoit compotes. Um, but I normally will use a white footed compote, um, but this is what we're using now. Um, and this comes in white, pink, or black, or gray. So we have those options for people now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Again, greenery, nest, and I actually really like leather leaf. You'll notice that's what I'm using here. I really like it, to be honest. It's a little bit of an underdog. Um, I think people, it got a little bit overused, but I use it a lot because I'm able to fill in with this and then I can focus more on the flowers and not have to worry about the cost of how much I'm spending on greenery. So we're just gonna go that route. And again, I like to uh, segment things and I definitely love to segment the leather leaf too. So that way I can get bang for buck. And then I don't really have any stock or snapdragons, which I normally will try to get one line flower. So, but I've got this Veronica that I'm gonna kind of start with. And when I'm working with um, these bigger arrangements, I do make them two-sided as opposed to our cute little arrangement, which is one-sided but I actually don't make things in a rounded pattern. I actually work in more of a fan. So essentially what you're doing is you are cutting the arrangement in half. So from here forward is one side and from here towards me is another side. Um, and I treat them just like if it was a one-sided arrangement in that regard. Um, so, but with my line flowers, I want them to be seen from both sides. So. Um, I will normally have two friends and then one on their own. So, and I will have one starting on one side and then the other two are friends and just creating a little bit of an asymmetrical balance here because I like to create things in the way that they would have been grown in nature. So, and things don't grow perfectly in nature. Sometimes things are a little off. I feel like that's very cliche, but that's how I like to design. It's how I was taught. I started freelancing in Austin when I first got started in this industry. And I worked for a few great people who are very good at creating purposeful, wild, organic arrangements. So. They might have been wild, but they were still very well placed in every, stuck to your principles and elements of design. So again, even though I design in a garden-y fashion, everything is very purposeful. Nothing is put in a place for no reason. Coming in with a few of my fillers, like the status and this wax flower. And just like how I said a cute little arrangement is essentially one posies worth, like a single posies worth of flowers, um, the big boy arrangement is the equivalent of a triple uh, posy. So, again, with a posy, you have the added savings because you're not paying for a designer to truly come in and design everything. Obviously, there's a few things in posies that you know, make things look better. But for the most part, 
It does not take me hardly any time to make a posy as opposed to an arrangement. It takes me a little while because I really want to make sure I'm putting in the effort and the design and thinking through things. And So just keeping in with these things. Again, you can see I'm designing outwards most of the time. I want to really build out this look um, as opposed to going really high, I go out. Um, so next we're gonna go in with these spray roses. I ran out of my beautiful garden spray roses, but I've got these beautiful pink majolicas that are open and beautiful. So everything, because a triple posy includes three of everything, this is gonna get three of each kind of flower here. And normally what I do is I will account for one on each side and then I'll go with the third stem either in the middle or on the side here. With this, I'm gonna go on the side. If I can get it in. And just like the cute little arrangement that I did earlier, this also has a chicken wire base to it, so. Go in with some Hypericum berries. So, so far, there's really not anything that's very expensive in here. And again, that's because I try to keep to really economical stem counts um, until we get to our few rock stars. And that's really where I get the a lot of my flower budget in is with those couple of rock stars, like the spray roses and the peonies, especially. You know, right now, it's peony season, so prices of everything are still pretty good, but you know, as y'all all know, as soon as we get to the summer, peony prices go up a little bit, and that's okay. That's how it works. Oh, oh, love her. She deserves to be applauded. She deserves the spotlight there. And as you guys can tell, I love pink and purple. Um. And my customers kind of know now that that's kind of a standard for me. If um, they're ordering something from me, most of the time it's going to include pinks or purples. Again, unless if they decide they want to order something for, you know, a bereavement or whatever, a lot of the times I'll ask, or I'll get asked for a neutral palette. And we obviously want to keep those people happy and we want to be respectful of their family. So whenever we get a bereavement, we do, you know, ask and make sure that way we're not, you know, some people are very specific about what they want. So adding some of these really pretty mums in here. going to group these together. Alrighty. I'm just going to come in with my last little bit of wax flower. last few carnations and I think I'm actually going to do a focal cluster up here of them. And I do tell my customers that a lot of the times everything is artfully placed. I don't like to tell them that it's a specific style. Um, just because I do want to give myself and my designers some room if they really want to get their creative juices flowing, I don't want to limit them in any way. So my customers, thankfully, I've got a lot of amazing customers that are just like, do your thing, I don't care. So. Alrighty, gonna move these up a little bit. And sometimes things do move when you're designing and that's okay. We just, 
put them back where we want them to. Where you decide that the line isn't working wherever you put something and that's okay. You can move it and adjust it however you need to. The only thing I try to avoid is like if specifically if I have roses or something, I do try to keep from touching all of the petals because you do have oils on your hands that can mess with that. So, but yeah, that's it guys. Enjoy. All right guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. And thank you to Mayesh for including me and for providing all these beautiful flowers. And thanks to Rachel from Brass and Vale for doing all of our photography and videography. We've had a great time. And um, I can only hope that I have inspired you to maybe go into doing some retail stuff, some daily deliveries, um, or even to just maybe give you some inspiration on some designs. And that's all I can ask for. If you want to, give us a follow at at Amanda B. Floral, and we're on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all of those good things. So thanks, y'all. See you later.